So what is Vagrant and why should you care? Vagrant, spelled V-A-G-R-A-N-T, is a way of packaging up uh, effectively a virtual machine along with the configuration that formulated that virtual machine. And how this is different from just sending someone a VM is that you get a lot more granular in terms of the settings. So if you think of uh, a VM as just kind of a assembled piece of code, it's, it's an app that you download on your phone kind of a thing. Uh, Vagrant is gonna be you know, more of the instruction manual to produce this, right? And then you can put this instruction manual into uh, version control you know, as well as your code, right? So you've got code that's in version control and you've got Vagrant in version control. And here's my wonderful way of dictating that these are different as a V and a C. So we've got both of these in version control and then developers using, you know, the, the Vagrant instance can all be using an identically stamped out environment because they're following the instruction sheet that was used to produce this Vagrant instance, right? And so that way, I can work on the same thing that someone else does at, down to a machine level. The other thing that this allows is for if you make a really good Vagrant instance, um, you're effectively mirroring what someone does locally with what happens in staging. And if you're really good with what happens in production. So instead of having to pull these things back down, if your Vagrant instance and your Git repo is all lined up nice and neat, then uh, this code is from here, DevInst is from here, DevInst is from here. So you've got Git going and feeding these other things. You've got your Vagrant instance, which is basically a copy of what it took to build this and this coming back down and being deployed in Dev. And so you're able to you know, for example, capture the fact that maybe you pushed a change and now we require PHP 5.4 because of some function that's living out and now required by the Git, the code that's in the Git repository. So now our Vagrant instance requires PHP 5.4. We can create a, let's call it a chef script. A chef is the one I've been using at least for our setup. And you, then you can capture that micro change of, hey, now instead of installing PHP 5.3, we need to install 5.4, okay? So the way Chef works in, in the Vagrant setup, at least, again, this is in the context of the Elms Learning Network, is we've got Chef. And so if you think of Chef as like these micro commands, right? So we want to just download and install Drush. Right, so there's a series of commands that you go through and you're going to run them one after another, right? So instead of having to go and type, you know, cd home tilde dot drush, all that fun stuff, all the commands, it tells you whether you do apt get, um, whether you do drush d, well, you can't do drush dl, uh, whether you do w get to download it and assemble it locally, whatever method, you can have chef go and do that and run all those commands to basically get someone um, all the way to drush installed correctly. <clears throat> and now this obviously isn't the server installed correctly but you're at least getting them all these little different, um, they're called recipes. And so if you've got enough recipes chained together, you end up getting something like, okay, we'll get Drush and here's my MySQL defaults, right? And PHP and Apache and hosts, right? So each one of these individually is gonna be a recipe. And then these recipes make up a cookbook, as they're called. I've got all these adorable little names for things in Chef. And so Vagrant then comes into play, is that Vagrant can be set up and there's a mode called provision. Oh, sorry, I didn't say it right, provision, like that. And so whenever you run provision, you're effectively saying, go and run through my cookbook of recipes and set this environment back up to the default state. And so how we can use this is if I'm developer, you know, developer one is saying, oh, well now we need PHP 5.4, that change can be made here, push to the code repository that is that, you know, Vagrant's just code. So it's push to the code repository. And then you can tell everyone on your team, you know, your basic DevOps workflow, I hate that phrase, but DevOps, 
uh, becomes, hey, every morning we're going to go and run Vagrant Provision, which is then going to hit the recipe in the cookbook, and it's going to grab PHP and set up PHP 5.4 instead of 5.3. But that way your team doesn't need to know, oh, by the way, we're all upgrading to PHP 5.3 or what have you. Right? So this helps you keep in line with production. Um, it also helps keep you in line with, uh, with larger teams because some people, unlike me, work with quite a few people apparently. And when you do that, <clears throat> making sure that this instance is the same for all of these people becomes really important. So the, uh, the last thing you could do is if you're developing an application like, I, I don't know, I mean, like let's just say you developed applications. I don't know what they would be, but if it was if you were doing one, it'd be something like that. You could have your Vagrant instance on provision, uh, basically wipe out its knowledge of the directory tree that it has currently by checking out code from the, from this repository or doing a git pull origin master type of a thing, or if you're lazy, g pull origin master. All right got to drop those two characters and so part of provision could be doing this so that you have this command run as part of your provisioner that way if it's a brand new instance this folder tree doesn't exist yet and so it grabs the latest copy in this case especially with um, you know the application I'm developing the I'm always developing directly against what will be running in production for us so you can have exactly what I run in production by running one command, uh, which is the vagrant provision. And then anyone that wants to jump in and start developing for this um, can always have not only the latest copy, but the latest virtual machine. And we know that the settings are right everywhere. 